Good morning children welcome to social class so in social we are learning the 17th block which is our green cover which is about forest isn't it children so in this we have learned the types of forest importance of forest and the uh, causes that harm forest isn't it children so in the fourth topic we are going to learn how to protect the forest that is protecting forest so for protect the forest protecting the forest there are many ways or many actions we can take to protect the forest okay so please open your social content book children and turn to page number 109 109 okay where you can see the topic protecting forest okay so in this the first one is forming groups to for to protect forest that means the people who live in forest or in many parts of india protect the forest that means they form groups to protect if there is any deforestation so those people form like groups and they protest to protect the forest okay so if you take an example of chipko movement in 1970s women in a village in himalayas so in himalayas there was a act where they were doing deforestation that forest has been cleared okay but the women in that village it this happened in 1970s they went and hugged the trees to protect them from being cut down and this protest was called as chipko movement okay so this movement that the women going and hugging the trees that means if you have to cut the trees cut us also in that way they protested to protect the plants to protect the forest so this pe- this movement inspired many people in other parts of the country other parts of our country like karnataka also in odisha also so people started knowing the importance of forest and they started trying to stop those who want to do mining there okay or the people who want to construct roads or factories or something like this or doing mining to do those they started deforestation so in many places because of this chipko movement people in that regions where the forest was a, was about to cut down people started doing the other ways of protest so that they can protect the forest okay in odisha it is niyamgiri forest and in also karnataka so people started getting inspired by the women who hugged the trees to protect them in 1970s and many people are doing now also okay so in that way forming groups and protesting to stop the deforestation is one of the way to protect the forest and next one is making laws so making laws is so there are many laws in our country so uh, which gives a special protection for the forest so by calling them as national parks wildlife sanctuaries reserved forest and community reserves in this way government the laws have been declared so that because of these laws we can protect that those areas those forest okay and for this lawyers the person who studies about law and practices law that person will help us know all those laws in our country okay so that we can protect the forest okay and next you have studying for forest studying about forest so studying about forest is we need to learn more about the forest how they help people and animals what happens when the forest get damaged so in this way if you get a lot of lot of information this can tell us how important the forest are so in that way we will be able to understand why we need to protect forest so in that way if you study more about the forest you will get to know the importance of the forest and the reason why we need to protect the forest okay and many scientists are studying about the forest okay they are coming to know about different medicines different ways that forest help us to survive in this world okay so that is one thing the last one is making paintings and songs and plays so through songs or through paintings or through plays 
place also we can spread the message of protecting forest protecting protecting our greenery so that people will get to know will be aware of the importance of forest and through these things you can also show them what happens when there is no forest okay when the forest when the trees are cut down what would happen to us if you if they tell those things in the form of songs might be it might be through paintings or through plays people get aware of the importance of the forest okay so in this way we can protect the forest okay and we have to be very very careful when we are using the things which we get from the forest like wood or paper we should be very careful we can't use and throw unnecessarily it's very precious it should be protected as we have to protect the forest these things if you reduce using unnecessarily then that will be conserved properly okay children and if you see the did you know the sacred groves are the parts of forest which people living nearby consider sacred they are many sacred groves all over the world sacred means having huge respect to that place okay in forest you can see those type of sacred groves and in all over india there are many sacred groves okay so that is your did you know children so please read this in your content book page number 109 the topic protecting forest okay and underline the keywords which i have given in your daily schedule write it in your classwork and also learn them children coming to your question answers so question answers what are the some kinds of forest that are protected by special laws we have learned that natural parks wildlife sanctuaries reserved forest yes all these community reserves all these are protected by the special laws okay children so write this answer in your classwork and please learn it children coming to your next question how can writing songs and making paintings help forest so that people will get aware of the imp importance of the forest okay so when we write a song we can tell people about the problem of cutting down the forest people will think of the forest when they sing a song when we make a painting we can show them all the things about the trees so when people see the painting they might understand more about the problems of cutting down so through hearing through looking and through hearing songs looking at the paintings and the place people will be aware of it okay will be getting to know more about the forest what happens with the forest what happens if there are no trees also okay so write these two answers in your classwork and please learn it children coming to your homework complete the volume book volume book 3 page number 8 s4 let us protect trees okay so with this we have completed with our block children in the next class i'll meet you with a new block children see you in the next class bye